actually off to Paris again. If I've got the space, I'm gonna fill my suitcase. Or run through. Day one, outfit idea, packing cubes. I have laid out everything. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. Very excitingly, you're actually watching this I filmed this two days prior to uploading this. Fingers crossed I can get this live. If this is live, then what a miracle because I've got a busy few days. But so excitingly, I'm actually off to Paris again. Can you believe it? When I got back, I got invited to Paris for 48 hours. Honestly, pinch me and honestly the biggest like hug to you guys for making things like this possible because I am pinching myself daily that this is what I do and what I can share with you guys and things like that. But since my last video and since the like Paris pack with me video that I did for my recent trip a week and a half ago, I got loads of questions like, can you do a different style pack with me? Like I didn't feel like it was an actual pack with me. So this is why I'm here today. This is why I'm uploading on a Friday, not a Sunday. So you won't get a Sunday video this week. You're just gonna get this Friday video because I go today. So I'm in Paris currently when you're watching this, if you're watching it on a Friday. But I thought I would basically do a how I plan for a trip and run through pretty much absolutely everything in terms of planning my outfits, planning the looks, planning so that I can pack concisely and easily and things like that. So I'm heading up to London and then I head to Paris for two days and then I've got a London night out as soon as I get back. So it's a very kind of like quick few days where I need outfits that are gonna work for lots of different things and occasions and things like that. So I'm gonna leave on the screen here a app that I have on my phone called Unfold. So I use this app for every trip that I do. I fill it with like inspo pictures from Pinterest. So I create a board for that trip or I have a board at the moment called like January and February outfit inspo. I have one called Spring transitional outfit inspo and then I have a Paris outfit inspo album as well so in there I kind of just like browse through and get a little bit of inspiration if I'm feeling a little bit stuck and I add any of those kind of inspirational outfits and pictures into that but I also add what I'm doing per day so as you can probably see on the screen here I have the evening that I'm going up to London then I have the Thursday kind of travel morning and then the lunch and then the fancy event dinner and then I have the Friday morning we're going like bike riding around Paris and things like that so I need to be in something that's comfortable so I've kind of got little bits on the screen here of what I know so far the full itinerary hasn't been shared with me yet so I'm kind of going off little bits that they've shared just before going so it's all very kind of last minute in that sense but I'm going to try and get pieces that work for as much as I need and then do them like this and then the Friday on the Eurostar changing into a girl's night look. So I thought we could do it together basically and I'm going to time lapse this clearing this rail and putting basically things on it that I am going to pack and going to try on for the event and for packing. I find this like a really really helpful way of kind of my brain working out what's for what and how I could actually kind of use the same pair of jeans for multiple outfits over like three day period or for example trying on different dresses and nailing it down to two because I always tend to take at least two or three outfit options for an event evening even though I definitely could just take one outfit I always find that I dress to how I'm feeling and sometimes I could be in Paris or in London and be like I'm just not feeling a dress tonight I'm feeling a nice top and jean combo so I like to kind of have the options in my case which obviously is excessive in some senses but if I've got the space I'm going to fill my suitcase. Yeah we're going to time lapse just putting on basically all the outfits for the next couple of days and then I'm going to do a little try on with you guys and just try on some of the pieces see what I'm feeling like and things like that run through of the rail so far so I've gone for dressy things this side to try on so I'm only going to take two of these if I do or maybe potentially a top with a pair of jeans but 
I want to try on everything from this little side. So I've actually already tried on this set, which I'll leave on the screen now with how I'd want to style it. And then I've also tried on this already too, which I just filmed for like a separate video. So they'll be on the screen now, but everything else I do need to try. So I need to try on these three outfits here at some point this week. And then travel outfit sorry can you actually cope with this set i am honestly in love like they don't come together but they're both from tala and i thought the colors were pretty matchy matchy this is launching very soon or has just launched and i have it in the black jogger and sweatshirt set and i'm in love so that's potentially going to be my travel outfit there and then i've just hung up some tops that i potentially may wear on the second day so this is kind of everyday section slash Friday onwards so this here this little section is outfits I have in mind that I want to style and try on for the second like everyday looks and I've put this top on here because I think I want to wear this for the girls night back in London when I get off the Eurostar and then I've just chucked this blazer on here because I would love to wear that when I'm away but I don't know how I may style it because I am limited well, I'm not limited but I want to have a black coat that kind of just goes with everything. So this is currently me trying to work with pieces that are all going to go with that coat. And this potentially will just be taking up too much room. So we don't know yet. She could be coming. Not sure. So yeah, that is the kind of setup that I do. Then I do like a bit of a try on and then take photos of everything on, <laughs> which I'm going to do very, very slowly. And obviously share with you guys the pieces that I've tried on other than those two first, like two little pieces there. However typical me I literally have well forgot that I'd booked a class so I'm running to a reformer quickly so when I come back I will be no makeup chilling out but we'll still try some pieces on together so that you guys can see because I'm still going to plan when I'm in my comfies um so yeah that is kind of where I'm at so far I'm gonna run to my class and I'll be back okay realize I was an hour ahead of time so I've actually got time to try on two of the dressy looks so this was another option for the evening I was thinking I love this set from warehouse it's absolutely stunning and like the back detail is just beautiful also excuse that squeaking noise my court hills are making like farting noises and I don't know how to stop that from happening <laughs> I'm not really sure why it's doing that but I yeah just love the color of this it's this beautiful navy satin material I'm currently also filming for a TikTok like dressy event evening look so if you guys want to actually vote for which one I should wear for the event when I'm in Paris then head over to my TikTok but I yeah just love the shape of this it feels very very glam very comfortable especially when like you don't really know what people are going for I yeah do really love this and then I've just got the court heels on underneath which are super super comfortable as well but yeah this is another little evening option so gonna take the pictures and yeah then add to the album and I usually take photos of each look and then I add to the album when I'm like sitting in bed and do like kind of a pick and choose I usually have around three options for each day and then I have to scale it back it's the only way I can do it so obviously this is excessive but Part of the job for me is having options and really thinking about locations and things like that. So this is just part of my process personally. <laughs> it doesn't need to be everyone else's, but I thought I would share like everything that I do when I'm going on a trip with you guys. So guys, this is the next dress. I am blown away by this. This is like a Tinkerbell dress. How stunning. I... I honestly, like I have no words, like it fits so beautifully. I love the detailing. It's very classy. It is giving me Paris vibes. I am swaying towards this one massively. I'm gonna have to send Chloe a video, but I love this so far. And with the little court heels, it's super, super cute as well. I just need to sort out that squeaking noise, but um, yeah, this is why I try everything on because I used to do a thing where I used to just be like, yeah, that might be all right. And then I pack it and I used to really regret that. So I'm glad I try stuff on now and like see the shapes and see how they feel. And this is very, very comfortable. My only concern is that can I fit a coat over this sleeve? Like we're in the hotel for the whole evening because it's for the launch of a new hotel, which is very exciting. But they have a rooftop and I'm wondering if it's on the roof, is it going to be absolutely freezing? Do they have heaters? Like what's the kind of vibe to this? But then we're eating indoors. So yeah, I'm just trying to gauge. Also, this could be something that I pack and then take a less dressier version just in case that people 
aren't going this extravagant <laughs> like I am, but I do absolutely adore this. So guys, I'm back home now. I'm gonna do the try on for the everyday looks tomorrow morning, but I thought I would just sit down. I've just got out my suitcase. I've had this suitcase and the bigger version and the mini version. I worked out the other day for around seven years and I've looked at reviews for these cases and they are so mixed. However, I've been honestly like trekked on a boat in Bali and had this above my head. I've like I've been in weird scenarios with this suitcase, Philippines, in like the jungle on an island that could barely fit this like on a plane. Like the amount this suitcase has done for me is quite a lot and I really recommend them. I think they're really sturdy, they're great, they fit loads in. You have the extender section like in this little bit here so you can make this bigger if you wanted which for me is always great when shooting and things like that like it literally comes everywhere with me and I can fit so much in it so I'll leave that full range down below they're by Antler and I have the mini and I also have the like big 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 one which I took to Bali I actually had to take my biggest one because I had so much stuff but I wanted to just come on because I just got out my packing cubes so I tend to use packing cubes more for trips like this where I really need to get as much as I can in one case but also mainly for like those really really far away abroad ones where I have lots of bikinis or I have just lots of bits in my case like first aid stuff and everything's kind of just all over the place if I just put it into my suitcase but these just work so so well at actually making it just easier when you're traveling and you're on the go to just pick out the bag that you know exactly what's in it so these are from Amazon. I'll leave them linked down below. I've had these for a very, very long time. I actually have a very random selection. This isn't all of them. I need to find my other ones, but look, even in here, what is that? An eye mask. <laughs> There's stuff in here that I'm like, didn't even know I had that, but you've got all the different compartments. I will say with these ones though, they are cheap and they do break easily. So if I stuff too much in this one, for example, the zip is basically breaking so I will say if you are looking for ones that hold a lot and you can like stuff loads in then I wouldn't like recommend investing for ones that are a bit more expensive but these ones do the job for me and I always just kind of put elastic bands around them if the zips are a little bit broken but they seem to work so I just got out those and then I've also got my travel pouch this is actually what Kirsty got me for my birthday last year I've got a matching tag on my case with my name and stuff in and then I've also got a passport holder version both with my like initials in so I feel like these are really nice gifts for loved ones that you can put in like all the different kind of personalizations if you wanted but I just put all my documents in here travel documents itineraries all of that stuff I am basically you know there's videos on TikTok it's like the dad at the airport that's me <laughs> I am the one that's printed everything off so I have one of those and then I actually have little bags like this that I have just randomly got from like parcels, jewellery, um, I ordered a bikini a long time ago and I think this is what this came in. So I basically stuff all my pants and socks into one of these which I've already done. So that's my pants and socks for the week done in there as well. So that is that and then key item needed, my limp roller and she's coming in that big bag as well so that's what we'll be packing tomorrow but I just thought I would show you those just as I got them out and set them up for this evening before packing tomorrow morning hey guys it's the next day I am trying on some pieces and I just thought I would try this on as one of the evening looks so just envisioning a few different evening outfits I'm very very stuck on what to wear for the evening because I've asked a few girls that I know are going and their vibes are very different so I just was going to try this on just to see but I am honestly blown away by this dress I don't think I've ever tried other than that black dress as well being that beautiful and that like premium I feel like a princess <laughs> in this I find it really hard though to envision any kind of dresses like this when my makeup and hair aren't done but it is beautiful and I think this is very like Paris hotel a bit more boutique-y a bit different so potentially this will be coming Right guys, day one outfit idea. I think this is it. I think this is gonna be the fit because it's comfortable, it's waterproof, which is ideal. And I just feel 
like very chic very cool in this it's also meant to rain on the first day so i'm planning around the rain a bit these shoes are super super comfortable i'm just holding my leg up from um asos i've actually worn them for two full days in new york so i can swear by these that they're not going to ruin my feet and yeah i'm just loving the khaki right now quite cute and maybe headband maybe not but it's really hard to envision when i don't have my makeup and hair done but what do we think? Okay, here is like a bit more of a full length look of the outfit. So I'm gonna take, I think these pieces and yeah, go for this as my day one. It's comfortable to travel in. It feels quite cool. Yeah. And also these are really, really loose and comfortable on me and they're a escort. So when the wind blows, you know, you're all covered, that kind of thing. So yeah, I think that's day one done. I'm not even going to try and try on too many, but I need to think about my leaving outfit and I have a few different ideas for that, which I'm a little bit stuck on, but I'm going to leave on the screen here the inspo for this fit. So I do Pinterest and I get a bit of inspo and I think about like trench coat styling and things like that. And I was browsing Pinterest and looking at like loafer styling, trench coat styling, because I know that these are like really comfortable. And I know when I wear tights, I feel like it kind of makes me feel a bit more chic. I like this kind of preppy style. It feels very me. So I kind of pinned some of these looks here on the screen just to get a bit more of inspiration for that and yeah I'm quite happy with the khaki and khaki together I wouldn't have usually styled these two together but I quite like how it looks so that was kind of the inspo on the screen behind this one just trying on some cute little tops from Zara I feel like this is a Zara haul now but anyway <laughs> a little pack of me Zara haul at the same time I love this top but I really don't have the trousers for it and I just find like I'm falling in love with all these tops from Zara however the sit of them with my high-rise jeans that don't really fit me properly just doesn't work because then you get this kind of like I don't know the shape's kind of off but I loved the navy off the shoulder I like the button detailing maybe this look with like a black blazer maybe I need charcoal jeans on I'm just yeah, the navy is a bit too much. Okay, so for the last day, I wanted to do some tailoring. So again, I'm gonna leave my inspo on the screen there, but I also need to wear these jeans because I'm gonna be wearing these jeans out in London. So my thought process behind it is that I'm just gonna do a quick change on the Eurostar. I literally get back to King's Cross and then I have to get to Clapham and then to Victoria. So I literally just have to be ready as we are. So this was kind of quick change put the boots on, put a different top on, blazer stays on, bag stays the same, bam, I'm ready. Kind of idea, thought process behind this one. Okay, another little idea, same jeans, same trainers, going for this little logo tee and then this trench. I'm actually in love with this. <laughs> like how freaking cute is the crop trench? This is new from Zara as well. I just love the oversized kind of like slouchiness of this, but I just also don't have anything like this that has this like raw hem boxy shape to it I love this is very cute but I'm not too sure if it's too casual so this is going in my little photos so that I can put into unfold and then when I'm in bed later I can like really think about what I am packing and which outfits I'm taking however this probably won't take up much space so maybe I'll be able to fit it in who knows okay second to last outfit that I'm trying on I'm doing another tight outfit because I just feel like it's really easy to pack if I've got these packed anyway um and then cream jumper coat super oversized super super snuggly I think the last restaurant on the last day that we're going to is a little bit fancy so I feel like this will work for that potentially but yeah, I'm gonna again leave inspo on the screen, but I think I'm gonna just try maybe this, maybe not even another one. I'm not 100% sure. And then we will get round to packing. Okay guys, last one has been tried on. This blazer dress, which I've got from, I think a charity shop or a vintage shop a long time ago. But yeah, that is the last outfit I'm gonna try on for every day. I'm actually thinking this one may be my favorite for the last day just because although I'm not wearing the jeans and although it's not gonna work, I can just change on the Eurostar. I've got two and a half hours to kill. I feel like I can just get my suitcase out and just like go and have a proper change and a bit of a zhuzh when I'm on the Eurostar home. But I don't know, I'm just swaying towards this because it's really, really comfortable. And um, yeah, I just like the boots and the tight combo. So guys, PJ's on for the packing to commence. So what I basically do now is I've scaled it down. I have laid out everything. Uh, 
and I sound really out of breath but it's because I've been running up and downstairs like clearing the mess that I'd made but I have decided on my outfit so I am going for the khaki like skirt and trench on the first day then on the second day I'm going for blazer tights fake leather shorts kind of look then I've got the evening look so I've also got the night out looks in London over there so this kind of like four different outfit choices I'm taking the two dresses just in case and I'm taking just three nice dressy tops I can wear with any of the fake leather trousers because I feel like then I can kind of style up different ways depending on how I'm feeling on the weekend and things like that and then I have to kind of pack my boots and my court heels because it depends on how I'm feeling basically then over here I've got pajamas pants and socks hair stuff I always 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 when I travel take a peppermint tea with me and take breakfast milk and cereal bars because I get really hungry as soon as I wake up and I always need a little bit of something just in case like the hotel doesn't have it or anything like that peppermint tea usually comes with green tea I find in Paris or certain places in Europe that I've been before and I don't want caffeine before bed and this just sorts me out with like traveling in my stomach because I have so many dietary requirements so these kind of just help me out in that way got the pajamas got the passport in there and everything and yeah that is everything kind of laid out then on my little rail I've done bra pants socks on the outfit that I'm actually going to wear into London tomorrow and I'm also going to wear home on the Saturday I've just got a change of white top in the other room but I'm just going to go for like really really comfortable pieces and then I'm taking one black coat for all my outfits because this is just going to go with everything if I need that extra layer or anything like that and then I've got my trainers down there ready to go although I'm kind of debating I'm not really sure whether I should go with the gazelles or the new balance ones but I'm kind of swaying towards these because it doesn't really matter if they get a little bit grubby and things like that when you're traveling and got a big case and whatnot but yeah that is everything set up there so now to just pack this all into bags so enjoy a little time lapse of me organizing all of this and hopefully fitting most of this just into one side what I try and do is fit like all the bulky stuff like bits like this into this side of my case and then I put all the like pajamas hair stuff makeup products all of that into the other side <laughs> for tomorrow I also should mention that I use like the things that my bags have come in in the past is also like packing cube things so like shoes came in that where I put the dresses in and then yeah I'm gonna put in that little section there just my makeup bits when I've done my makeup in the morning and then for jewelry I use these little like jewelry cases which I'll find some and link them down below but I just put the jewellery in that I'm wearing for tomorrow and then for the days when I'm there. And then in here, there's one vitamin in there, which I probably need to take. Um, but I actually use them for my vitamins as well. So I'm going to, in the morning, put my all my vitamins in that to travel with me. Because there's too many that fit in my like travel vitamin case. So this is just a little extra. Um, but I find these so handy. I actually also have a bigger one. But... I like taking the little ones at the moment. I feel like they work just as good. I can fit enough in them just for a couple of days. And um, then I've got my portable charger, travel stuff. And then in here, I'm just using this for sunglasses, little bits that I don't really want to be broken and bits like that. Yeah, that is me all packed, ready to go. Got the rail for the morning to sort out and gonna wash my hair and things like that fresh tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna, oh, I'm like sitting on my hot water bottles. Um, I also do pack my hot water bottles actually talking about them. Um, I do bring one with me because I just know that if I have a bad tummy, 
it's gonna sort me out. So I do bring that and I do bring a silk pillowcase, which sounds really bougie, but lately my hair, like when I've been wearing it slicked back quite a lot, it's kind of just falling out a bit more than it usually does. So I'm quite conscious of just kind of looking after it and someone recommended silk scrunchies and silk pillowcases. So that is what I'm taking with me. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very excited to take you guys along. I hope that was a different style of pack with me that you guys might have liked, but if not, let me know. Um, and if you did, then let me know as well. And just thank you for watching and being here and supporting me. And I will see you guys when we go to Paris. Lots of love. Bye. Mwah.